Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the Radian Pro Crossfire option on and off with the software called Sony Vegas or whatever you, you want, maybe you want to call it Magix. Anyway, this software allows you to render 4K videos and one would think that you could use the Crossfire option which is available on the Radian Pro range of graphics cards to improve the rendering rate from the software called Vegas or Millennium, um, Millennium Magics, whatever you call it. All right, so I'm just going to call it Sony Vegas. <clears throat> That's what it was traditionally called. And Sony Vegas allows us to render in 4K. Now, here we go. Uh, this is the control panel for the Radeon Pro graphics cards. And as you can see there, the crossfire option is off. So in the first test, I'm going to have it in the off position. And I'll just show you that I have two Radeon Pro WX5100 graphics cards enabled on this Threadripper 1920X CPU powered computer. Now having a look at the task manager at the moment, you can see that I have two GPUs running here. There's the Radeon and there's the other Radeon. Now if you're wondering why the GPU is sitting with a high utilization, I am using the OBS software. <clears throat> and there you can see the OBS does lock up some of the graphics, although it is not showing it here. But when I do switch off the OBS, the uh, CPU, the graphic GPU uh, is then no longer loaded. So I'm just assuming that it is the OBS. All right. So without further ado, let us do this comparative analysis, starting with a quick one minute and 15 second or 1 minute 19 second render of a 4K video. Now the first test consists of just the uh, crossfire mode off with both graphic card installed. And here we go. I'm going to say render. And for uh, testing purposes, I'm going to keep the template the same. I'm just going to leave it on the default. There you can see the maximum bits per second at 48 um, what's that, million and average is there over there. So I'm not making any changes. Everything else stays the same. It is 4K. And there we go. I'm not making any changes. So I'm just going to say render. And let's call this um, render no crossfire both cards enabled right so we're going to start the clock and and while it's rendering i'll just uh, demonstrate the cpu loading you can have a look there at the vegas software how it is uh, very hungry it is using 93 almost 94% of the CPU, but having a look at the GPUs, you will see that the GPU loading on the second card suddenly increased, and that's obviously the, the Vegas software using that. Right, you can see there, the time is just approaching, there we go, four minutes and three seconds. Right, now let's do this test with the one graphics card disabled. So let's see if there is any impact if I actually disable one of the cards completely. And I'm just going to make sure that the, the software knows which card card or method to there we go it's got gpu acceleration video processing there we go now when there were two cards here you could select either card so now it's on everything stays the same and here we go we're going to render render as and i'm going to keep all the settings the same you'll see that there's no change here it's the default setting then we're going to call this uh, single card no crossfire Right, there goes the render. And just having a look at the utilization. 
you can see that we now only have a single card there. Right, and we are coming to the end of this render. And you can see that the time is very close with the card, the other card disabled. There we go, 4 minutes 01. So I'll consider that a equal result. Now I'm going to enable the card and we're going to try the crossfire. Right, so I am now going to test the crossfire mode. I'd just like to show you that once you initiate the screen recording, there you see the uh, OBS lock uh, takes quite a bit of the GPU capacity away. So if you're wondering what that is, that is the OBS. OBS is the screen recording software I'm using. All right, the GPUs are now in the crossfire mode. There you can see AMD crossfire, crossfire. And what we, uh, what we notice with uh, uh, Vegas is that you can select which graphics card. You see now it's picked up two graphics cards and I'll leave it in the one that it chose. And that is immediately telling me that I shouldn't have high expectations because it's not seeing both cards as one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on the bottom one for now and see if there is any improvement in the render speed. Then I'm going to try it on the top card and see if there is any improvement on the render rate. And uh, maybe the card will, will uh, one card will, will initiate the, the crossfire. But my, my guess is it won't. All right, the render settings are the same. And there we go, the render is off. And just to have a look at the CPU usage, there are the GPUs. You can see them there. And the CPU is the same, actually, yeah, 93%. And looking at the GPU, you can see it's mainly the Vegas and the OBS. Right, so there we see the time to complete with the crossfire mode on same time, 4 minutes and 3 seconds. Right, just for interest's sake, I'm going to now attempt to do this using the other card and just see what that effect is. There we go, the first card and now selected it, file, render as, and let's say uh, CF top card and there we go you can see the loading so it can definitely see that both GPUs are running but we see that Sony Vegas is not utilizing the crossfire option it seems like it's making very little impact if any at all and I know that some of the guys on the forums are saying 10%, 15% improvement. I'm not seeing any improvement here. And here we see the final stages of the final render. Again, same time, literally a draw. So it didn't really make a difference which card I used, whether it was in Crossfire or not. Uh, just to show you some of the settings, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe if you've got a comment on how you managed to get Sony Vegas to, to actually utilize the Crossfire option, I haven't been able to do it. Uh, maybe if you switch that off, I, obviously not. But anyway, this brings you to the end of the video. I'm telling you that if you are using Sony Vegas, don't be surprised if you install a second Radeon Pro professional card and you get no improvement when you do your video editing using Sony Vegas. Hopefully in the future, Sony Vegas will make use of the AMD's crossfire function. And I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Cheers.